morning guys so I am on my way to Fremont California For a factory tour, I must say uh, Tesla has been excellent with this. Typically, they want you to reserve two to three weeks in advance for a Tesla tour. Apparently, they're still booking up quite a lot. Uh, they want you, you have to be an owner to go on the tour. You can bring, I believe, up to three, three guests or four guests with you and you can only go once a year so there are definitely some limitations it's a little bit like Fort Knox I will not be able to take pictures or video while I'm inside the tour I will take some video of course outside the uh, the factory and possibly if it uh, seems prudent I'll uh, put the drone up in the air over the over the factory I think that'd be kind of cool to see hopefully I can get away with that and uh, you know I'm gonna of course after the tour I'll report on what I can report on and let you guys know what I thought of the tour and and whether it's worth the time or not apparently the tour lasts approximately an hour by the way I think I found that 135 miles of down seems to be that ever since I left or started through Oregon and into California it's been down so it seems like Washington sits way up at the top in the corner of the US at a very high elevation and then everything from there is just downhill so whether you're going to you know Montana or Idaho or whether you're going to Oregon and California you're down from there it seems like they might be a really high point there I'm not 100% positive I haven't looked at a topographical map of the US but that's kind of how it seems on uh, as I'm driving this trip so I'm really excited to do the tour today I'll uh, bring you guys as much footage as I possibly can on that tour. We'll see you after the tour. All right guys, welcome back to TM3 Life. This is just a shot of uh, Vermont license plate. And of course, this actually may be the first time that you all have seen that the license plate is of course the channel's name. We are here in Fremont, California at Tesla. We're gonna take the factory tour, and then I'm gonna let you know how it was. Hello there, guys. So the tour was awesome. They, of course, don't let you take pictures or videotape and you sign your life away uh, when you go in there that you uh, won't take photos and so on and so forth. Anyway, so, you know, I'm sure it's amazing to see any automobile factory but what was really unique and interesting about this particular factory well there are actually quite a few things so they're making three different cars in this one factory they're making the model s they're making the model x and they're making the model 3. And what makes them different than your typical automobile plant is they're making i mean they're an american car company and they're they're actually the most American made car you can buy today. So nearly every single part in that car is made in that factory. And what was really cool is they took you through the entire process. They took you through these huge rolls of metal, mainly aluminum, right? And then they brought you through the whole stamping process with the, with the big huge dies and the big presses. And they showed us, you know, some, some of their dies, and these dies come in sets. So let's say you have a, I'm just going to use this as an example. You say you have, they're making a door panel. Well, you can't just, you know, do one stamping and have it come from a flat piece of metal to a door. It takes multiple steps. Uh, they showed us this one stamping that, that they were doing that required four different dies to complete the final shape of whatever they were making. And these particular dies are these huge sections, one on the bottom, one's on the top in the press. Weighed 11 tons, and that was a medium-sized die. Then they had small dies, which were four, I think four to five tons. And then they had 
the large dies, which were 45 tons. And they also happen to have the largest stamping press in the United States. And it is seven stories high. And when she said that to me, I looked at it, I'm like, that does not look seven stories high. And it's because only four stories of that particular press is above ground. The other three stories of it is below ground just in order to support its weight. It was incredible. And when they say that the Model 3 is made by robots, yeah, it's, it's made by robots. I mean, there were 1,100 robots in just one section of one part of the Model 3 process. And it was neat. I mean, they showed us how the Model S, the Model X, and the Model 3 are being made. So they started from like raw materials right up to all the different stamped parts and then how they take the steel and attach that to the aluminum pieces to strengthen it to make them also the safest cars on the road today. And then we saw a small sea of Model 3s that were all just the bare metal. But they were all together. They had hoods and doors and trunks and they were a full body and unibody. But of course, no interiors, no, no nothing. They were basically getting ready for paint. It was really neat just to see them all, all there. And the robots, they have a couple of robots actually pick these cars up and put them down. Uh, it's pretty neat. They've actually been the only company to train two robots to pick up the car and do it without dropping it. It's kind of neat. Kind of a pretty neat feat of engineering for sure. And uh, so then we saw the Model S's and the Model X's being made as well. And as we were going through, I noticed that there were some of the Model X's had that had that new little door. I don't know if you guys are aware of it. There was a it looked like a essentially a, you know a gas cap door on the driver's quarter panel on the rear. And I was like, hmm, I think I know what that is. So at the end of the tour, we were asked if there was any questions, and I did ask if that was the port for the new CCS because the US we haven't standardized on whether we're going to be Chatamo or CCS or whether Tesla is going to be you know the standard and, and EV charging but over in China they have standardized and they're CCS so what they've done is they've added an additional port to the cars that are going over to China that will accept a CCS plug and that's why your Model 3 when you open when the flap opens up to plug in the Tesla supercharger or your wall charger at home or any other level 2 charger it's a much bigger area than what the Model S and Model X have and it's because they've already pre thought out that process and so yes once Model 3 start going over to China or anywhere else where CCS is required there will be two plugs in that one area. There'll be a CCS plug and there'll be the Tesla plug all in that one spot. It was incredible. The factory is beautifully clean. It's very well organized. It's huge. The really cool thing about it was the Model S and the Model X, the section of the, of the factory where they're made is a big footprint, a big lateral footprint, right? Well, the Model 3 is obviously because that's a hugely mass produced car. Is a much bigger process but it takes up less of a footprint because instead of building out they built up I believe the model 3 is being made in that section of the factory it's three stories high so there are three levels of things going on all at the same time in order to make our model 3s it was very interesting if you do ever get a chance to come down and take a tour I definitely think it's worth it uh, but it doesn't cost anything to take the tour yeah it was amazing you pull in there I got to supercharge the car while I was waiting then you have preferred parking right up front and then you go in the tour the tour is about an hour long it was fantastic I love the idea of being able to see where my car was born and to see other model threes being born and each one of the cars in that factory has a name already on it well not literally but someone has already ordered that car and it's being made to spec it was just a very very cool experience so i hope i haven't rambled too much 
but there was a lot of info I wanted to give you guys just a really good idea of what was going on in there but it's really something that you should see for yourself because it's really cool I think it's cool probably to see any automobile factory but this one especially is just so cool because everything is made there all right it's time for that new segment Snapple Facts <laughs> Okay, and fact number one. The peach was the first fruit eaten on the moon. It's pretty special. Fact number two. President William Taft weighed over 300 pounds and once got stuck in the White House bathtub. I don't know about you, that would not be a fact that I would want to be remembered by. All right, guys, if you have an EV, you know what you need to do. Keep those batteries charged.